You're watching old mates. Backyard Tech. I am in no way, shape or form a fully qualified mechanic. Therefore, if you are following along with this service repair and or information video, you are doing this at your own risk. So you have been warned. When it comes to the tyres on my 80 series Land Cruiser, are they all terrain or mud terrain? And what size are they? Anything AV. Most things IT. Heaps of stuff about the 80 series Land Cruiser. Got questions, need answers and advice? This is Old Mate's Q&A and advice from Backyard Tech. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is Old Mate's Q&A and advice time as well as 80 series time here at the Backyard Tech channel as you saw with a disclaimer at the beginning of the video. Um, I was just going through the rest of my emails from overnight and I've got a viewer question here. Uh, what size tyres are you running and are they mud terrain? Um, short, sharp, simple answer to both question. They're 31s and no, they're not mud terrain. <laughs> um, I'm running two 75, 75, 16s and they're all terrain. Now we'll go out to the 80 in just a moment, but I don't need to run mud terrain. I'm not doing enough off-roading to warrant mud terrain. But at the same time, the reason I've got all terrains is, is when we are in Bendigo and I have got a few hours up my sleeve, at least if I've got ATs, I can get into Bendigo Park or Bendigo Regional Park or the Whipstick and go and have a bash. Um, I don't see the need for mud terrain. I'm not doing enough off-road. And the other thing is too, mud terrain on road depending on the manufacturer and the type of tread isn't exactly comfortable on road when you compare that to the ride of an all-terrain now some people have this myth and it's sort of a bit of a false myth all terrains can't go everywhere well they can an all-terrain tire can get you into as much trouble as a mud terrain However, the flip side is that a mud terrain will, will have bigger side biters. We'll have a look at my side biters. A bigger tread, a thicker tread, much more gap in the tread to get the mud out or whatever it is. A thicker side wall. And it's generally a thicker tyre. We all know, regardless of what four-wheel drive you have these days, the idea is big rims, big tyres, you know. 16, 17 inch, 18 inch rims on 35s or 38s. It's a little bit of overkill, okay? I don't need them that big. You know, two, three inch lift with 35s on or 38s, you know? So I don't need that, all right? We'll go ahead and have a sticky beak at my tires. The other reason I'm not running mud terrain is, remember, the old lady bought those tires for me, so... I couldn't justify to her the extra $165 a tyre to go from all terrain to mud terrain. It would have been a bit of overkill. So, let's head out to the 80 series and I'll show you the tyres. Alright, well this sort of hurts a little bit considering I've sprained my foot, but uh, these are it. These are my Win Run Max Claw All Terrains. Now, the thing is, these don't have massive side biters, and you can see they don't come all the way down the wall like a Mickey T or a Cooper or a General or a Bridgestone, all right? But these tyres, when I have been off-road, have been really good. They've got a decent amount of tread on them, all right? You can see there, decent amount of tread on them. And they've been a very good tyre. They've got very low road noise. And that's the other thing you get with some mud terrain tyres. Not all, but some, is the mud terrain, the, the road noise can be off the charts. Um, I don't need mud terrains on this thing because I'm not doing enough 
off-roading to warrant mud terrains. Whereas all terrains, whether you're off-road or on-road, are perfectly fine. Um, you know, I don't... I can't justify the price of a mud terrain tyre. That's one thing. And the other thing, too, is even if I was off-roading regularly, I'd still only run all terrain. Um, the myth that... <laughs> Some people believe the only way you can, or the only re, the only tyres you can have on any 4B is mud terrain. Because if you don't have mud terrain, you can't go anywhere. I don't subscribe to that. All terrains will go everywhere a mud terrain tyre will go. It just, it's a little different, all right? So, but these tyres have been great. I haven't got a problem with them. They're, um, you know, in the Whipstick Park and Bendigo Regional Park where we've been, they've been very, very good tyres. It's just that, you know, if I get into a boggy mess, I don't have the same tread depth and sidewall that you would get with a mud terrain tyre. So, you know, it's like saying, you know, now that I've got this thing, you know, I need to do a three inch lift with you know, 17 inch rims, uh, adjustment to the front end, and then 35 inch tires. The other half's gonna need a step ladder just to get into the car to start with. And I can't justify the extra, it would have cost me an extra $165 for the mud terrains of these per tire, right? So I didn't bother. So, you know, these all terrains are perfectly fine. There's nothing actually wrong with them. They, they drive very nicely. So, and for those that are curious, it's a one and a half inch lift on this thing. That's all I've got. Anyway, stick around. We'll see what else crops up. Other than that, I'll catch you tonight. Have a good one. Cheers.